Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center, in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Broadside! And now to see his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at the turnover in that kick. Just misses with the jab there. Doubling up on the jab. He blocks the punch. 
Nice body kick. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times at the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. Horrible. Straight punch lands. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick landed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Try to establish that jab. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice head kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Ooh, blocks the shot. Beautiful body. Hands high, hands high. Went for the inside leg kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lands with the right hand. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective punch there by Lee. Right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Yes, they heard in the last round. Same exact one. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Beautiful leg kick thrown. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Big head kick land. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. This big head kick lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, that body kick was there earlier, was not there on that attempt. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice kick. Real quick leg kick. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. That's a big strike right there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Good punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, round three coming up next. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much and Given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Third round underway.
had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch man over the top. Right at the elbow. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice kick there by Lee. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. There he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. How about that chin? Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head kick. Touched by that kick there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh! Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. What a body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice. There's no give on that leg kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh! Oh! He shot this right thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, 
When your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. everything so well and he's so calm he's so calm in the face of such a big spot well just as he did in the previous round continuing to land a high number of strikes here and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down scary scary proposition for the opponent yeah he's mixed it all up big right hook coming it's blocked big kick land Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big body kick lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Great punch landing with so much power. Back and forth we go here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Big body kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just over three minutes to go. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Dig and kick. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Strong inside leg kick. Oh, and he got the kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice strike. Strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab, doubles up on the jab now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Under two minutes now to go. by Lee. Real sneaky by Lee. Let's go into the head now. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio. It certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in the video game comes oh. up. Oh. Oh. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, big left. Final minute. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, he's hurt back. Whoa! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the pin. Oh, he might be out. I 
So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he still stands. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Punch over the top. Nice leg kick land. Another leg kick land. Look at him with his hip into that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. It's such a fast leg kick. Liver kick. That one snuck in. Nice right. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach. And he put it to good use there. Big leg kick land. Punch is blocked. A glancing right hand upstairs. Beautiful kick. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Unable to land the head kick there. Kick to the body by Lou. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Kick to the body now. That one more man. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at two minutes, five seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's 